So how do you get the Tokyo City point cloud data into Blender? I'm sure a number of you have already seen the posts on social media about the Tokyo City point cloud data in Blender. Uh, the original post I think was from Hirokazu Yukahara here and uh, I got it in my feed thanks to Jess right here. So how do you get that point cloud data into Blender? So the Tokyo City government has a website and that website uh, contains the data that we want to download. But I quickly found out that this was not straightforward. There wasn't a single download point cloud uh, button, uh, and I had to search around for this quite a bit. So I'm creating this video for anyone who ran into the same issue. If you're new here, I'm Victor Stepanoff, and I love helping artists learn a Python programming language. Let's get started. So the Tokyo City government website is this one right here. Uh, this contains uh, the data that we want to extract. And uh, I, when I first loaded, I was trying to find the, like, give me point cloud data button. But unfortunately, I did not find it. And uh, I did a bit of a searching. And a number of uh, things here are just in uh, Japanese, which I unfortunately do not know. So. I went and started to scour the internet and see maybe someone has already solved this. And there was one Reddit post that contained a clue for me, which allowed me to finally uh, get the data. So here is the post, and uh, it had basically instructions on how to download it. But still, uh, this part right here is, uh, is something that I still stumbled upon and didn't really understand, like, where uh, would I find this? So a clue for me was this go to the area in the viewer and then select uh, the square and download, like a download menu should pop up. So this got me thinking that I was not loading the correct data and I was not seeing anything that I could download. So let's go to this website and uh, it starts loading and right at the top, so if you're running Chrome and maybe you have some other uh, browser that supports automatic translation, I would highly recommend this unless you understand Japanese. So uh, select English so you could see everything translated into English. So the thing is that what you need to do is you need to go into explore map data and then you scroll down to the point cloud data and this will allow you to see the uh, different, uh, the data that you could download. Actually, it's right here, sorry, it's that. Then add that to the map. So now I'm loading the point cloud data to see what I would like to uh, lo download. So the loading of the point, point cloud data will take a minute. And this right here just shows you what uh, you would be interested in downloading. So you're not downloading something just by selecting uh, something on the screen. So let's go into that again. So I, I've selected this right here. So this is only displays the data. But if you go down into the uh, point cloud download, this is what you actually need. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and select. So I'm going to select this word right here. And you need to add this uh, to the map. So this was the step that I was missing, where you would select the point cloud data. And then there's a button right here, add to map. And that's, uh, that's, and this was missing from uh, that instruction. So I'm going to add that. And I'm going to collapse this thing. So after that is loaded, you'll see that now there's a grid. And this grid, you could actually select. So this was the missing piece. And now you could select and you'll get a pop up right here. And you get a download button uh, right here. So you hit that. And then you start you will start downloading the tiles that you need. So if you need multiple, you need to select multiple, right, and then download each one. Um, maybe there's a better way to do this in bulk. If you know, uh, please share in the comments. I would love to know. But uh, for now, you could just use the select and download method. So I selected a number of these blocks and downloaded them to my computer. So eventually, when you download the blocks that you want, you're going to get these zip archives. And when you extract them, you'll get a .last file. 
And at this point, you might try to drag this last file into Blender and then find out that this does not really work. So at this point, you might be familiar with the last file and then you have some other software that will transform this into some format that Blender understands. For example, the PLY format. But since this channel is all about Python, I wanted to get, I wanted to use Python. And I was able to use just the Python that's installed in Blender. Of course, I needed to download some extra packages to work with the .last file, but I was able to get the blocks into Blender. So the goal here would be to convert the last file into something that Blender understands, and in particular, the PLY file right here. And I started searching online, how can you convert a last file into a PLY file? And I found this Medium post. Uh, and big shout out to Shakar. This uh, post contains some Python code that would transform the uh, last file into something that Blender understands, which is the PLY file. So at the very bottom of this article, uh, there's this piece of code that transforms the uh, last file into a PCD file, but uh, actually you could also transform it, from my understanding, into a PLY file from here. But uh, actually this piece of code right here, when I was running it, um, uh, this would just fail and not work for me. So I actually had to update this script. So I updated the code to look like this. The, I, I, instead of the Open3D module, I decided to use the TriMesh uh, package right here. And that basically allowed me to create the same point cloud and then export it into a PLY file that I could easily load into Blender. So the good news here is that NumPy is already installed in Blender, but the TriMesh and the uh, last Pi, which allows us to read the last files, uh, are not installed into Blender, so I had to install them as separate packages. So with the prototype code done, I was able to take the output PLY file and just pull it into Blender, and then Blender would ask me uh, how I would like to import that. Uh, I set the scale to 0.1, and then I just hit apply, and then that would import the mesh, so I'll delete that. And the problem here is that the coordinates of uh, this particular point cloud, uh, they are way out there, so you, there, you won't see them in the or like near the origin, right? So you would need to modify it, uh, modify that mesh just a bit to kind of get it into the center of the scene. So here is that point cloud. You can see that uh, at the very bottom, oh, we have 6 million vertices. So that's a lot of vertices in just one block of uh, that whole map, right? So to fix this, we would need to reduce the vert vertex count. And to do that, I would just use the um, merge by distance. So I would go into edit mode, select all, and then I would... Well, actually, before I do that, let me apply the scale. So control A and then apply the scale. And then let's go into edit mode again by hitting tab, select, uh, selecting all the verts, and then let's merge vertices by distance. So I think I went with a 0.02. And you can see that removed quite a bit of uh, vert vertices. So now we have only two and a half million. Uh, so with that, I'll, I would exit out of uh, the out of the edit mode, and I would create a geometry node setup. And all of this I uh, would be doing with a Python script. I'm just going through the steps that the Python script does. So I'll add mesh to points. And you can see already this is coming together. All right, if you're learning something new and enjoying this video, make sure to hit the like button. I'll greatly appreciate it.
So at this point, I figured out what steps my Python script would need to do because I would need to do everything that I just showed you for every single last file I would download from that website. So I created a Python script to uh, help me import all those blocks in one go. So this is the Python script that I wrote. I won't be going into detail in this particular video. I'll be doing a full breakdown of the script in my community. So if you're interested in trying this out and understanding how the script works, you can join my free community. It's gonna be the first link in the description. So the high level overview of the script is I have a folder that contains the last file. So the folder I was showing you before that I extracted the zip files and the, I got the last file. So I'm pointing to that folder and I'm gonna be importing all the point cloud blocks from that folder into Blender. So I specified a special function uh, right here uh, that I would import, actually this is extra. So I would go ahead and search for the last files in that folder and I would check if we already have a poly uh, file of that last file because if we already have converted maybe there was an error in the script I would need to convert it again, right? If we don't have a poly file then we would run that prototype script that I showed you earlier, right? It just extract does exactly the same thing it extracts creates a poly file um, and after that's done we're gonna call the poly importer that you saw uh, when I was doing this by hand we're gonna point it at that file set the global scale uh, and then get the active object. So anything you add into Blender is the active object. And I put it into a list. So I do this for every single last file in that folder. And I import it and I put that into a list that I'll later uh, combine into a single object. So I do a join and make it a single object. Uh, I apply, apply the transform. I uh, set the uh, origin uh, to the uh, geometry and I do this twice because there is some kind of either I'm doing something wrong or there's some kind of bug that I need to do it uh, either multiple times so uh, I haven't figured this out yet but uh, if you know what's going on let me know um, so uh, after we do that we get the object so we've imported so we have a, a whole object uh, the like a whole point cloud that's joined together into a single object so uh, we get that object and then we merge the vertices. Here you could play around with the number, like what the distance is. So maybe you wanna, uh, maybe you have very a very powerful system and you don't really care about how many verts uh, Blender will need to deal with. Uh, but uh, since uh, I don't have like infinite resources on this computer I'm recording, uh, I have uh, put like, put the distance to uh, 0 0.02. So that just, uh, that just merges the verts and then I create the uh, geometry node network that you saw uh, before. So the final result for me was this point cloud right here. And uh, it contains, if I'm not mistaken, let's see here. I just pass in a geometry node. So it has 15 million verts right here. Um, so if you have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments. And if you're interested in learning Python, I would highly recommend joining my community. It's going to be the first link in the description. And I'll see you in the next video.